Hi everyone, this is Paul with PicoPros.com and I just want to do a uh, quick video highlighting some of the latest updates for this week in the Pico Projector space. So we do a lot of uh, articles on our site as well as Facebook and Twitter and uh, also our YouTube channel obviously for reviews. Uh, but uh, just wanted to kind of cover some of the newsworthy items for this week. Uh, and top on the list is the teardown of Google Glass. So we've been highlighting Google Glass since it was a uh, you know, announced or leaked uh, some time ago. Uh, very exciting product. Uh, it's in the hands of maybe about a couple thousand developers right now. And uh, there was posted, and we posted it on our Facebook page, a Google Glass teardown. And the most interesting part, obviously, to us is the projection engine. Once again, this uh, seems to confirm that it is a liquid crystalline silicon uh, display engine and most likely is a HiMax uh, display engine. So, that's very interesting. That's been confirmed on several sites. And uh, so that should be very interesting as we approach a wider adoption of Google Glass, uh, which I believe is right near the end of the year or early 2014. So stay tuned for more. We'll be seeing a lot more applications, etc., for Google Glass. And as we approach that, you know, we'll learn more about what the different components inside are. Uh, the next item is the announcement by Acer that we carried of the hybrid laser LED projector. And so you can read up on that announcement from Tuesday of this week. And the interesting thing here is that it's a hybrid laser LED, which means it has a very long lamp life, as well as excellent contrast ratio and color saturation. So it's a really uh, well-specced product at a reasonable price, and it looks very interesting. And if we're able to do a review on it, even though it's not a Pico projector, we will certainly do so because we love new technology. Uh, especially projectors in general. Uh, third item here is the Apple iWatch. The, there's been rumors for a long time about this, but the rumors seem to be heating up. And so I think as we approach the September time frame, we may actually see the Apple iWatch become a reality this year. Uh, it seems to be more and more in the line with the wearable computing. And I, I think now's the right time for Apple to put out a new product. So the iPad was the last revolutionary product, if you will, or big product that they have launched. And it's been a while. So I think the Apple iWatch is a natural extension. Um, so we'll be stay tuned to that. Uh, a lot of people, or some people are saying, oh, it might have a Pico projector in it. Really don't think that's the case. I think that's highly doubtful just based on the size, power requirements, and even cost for Pico projection engines at this stage. Maybe in a year or two, I don't know, for a watch, it's kind of small, has a small battery. So I think we're going to see Pico projectors, obviously, in tablets and laptops first, and then smartphones. But uh, certainly the iWatch at some point, you can imagine that it would have a small projector in there. Next item is Projecteo. Um, we actually been following this company for a while, too. This is the mini Instagram projector, so you can actually use their application to upload your Instagram photos, and they create this tiny wheel, sort of like old school uh, slide projectors. And so you pop the wheel into the unit and it uses a white LED to, you know, basically backlight the uh, images and you can project your Instagram photos on a wall or something. It's a low loom and it's sort of, I don't, you know, I don't want to say a toy, but it, it's certainly not a bright, bright Pico projector. Uh, but it's a very, very cool product and I, I think they're going to do well with it. So we're actually trying to get our hands on our review unit. We've been in contact with the company. So if we could get a review on PicoPros.com, I think that'd be very, very cool. Next item is our podcast coming up in July. So we had a podcast about a month ago with AV Nation to talk about Pico projectors. Hopefully you saw it. If you didn't, make sure you go back and look at uh, the link to AV Nation podcast on PicoPros.com or just do a search for AV Nation and PicoPros and you'll find it. So uh, what we hope to do is bring in special guests, and we've been in contact with a few OEMs that are interested, and we'll have special guests, panel uh, guests, whatnot, to talk about either their technology or the Pico projection space in general. So that'll be really interesting, and I, I think we're going to get some good traction going as the months progress. So the idea here is that with AV Nation, we can partner up together and do a monthly podcast get special guests, uh, dig into some details of Pico Projection. So if you have ideas for those podcasts, let us know. Or if you're interested in maybe sitting in on one of the podcasts as a panel member or you know one of the companies, let us know. We'd love to set something up. Uh, so look forward to that, and I think that'll be a lot of fun. 
The last item that I have here is Limb Optics. We've been following them for a couple of years now. Um, if you've been following Pico Pros, you're probably aware that we know of them. They are a Swiss company that does laser beam scanning using uh, obviously red, blue, and green lasers. So what we're trying to do, they're, they, they've, been, they've been flying under the radar, if you will, and we're really trying to get one, a sample of one of their products so we could get more exposure to them because I think a lot of our readers would be very interested in seeing their technology. But also look at the advantages and maybe disadvantages of the laser beam scanning technology that they're developing. And uh, with the cost of lasers coming down, I would imagine Lemoptics is getting fairly close to uh, being able to commercialize something here. I know they announced a HUD prototype. I believe it was at CES. They were showing it through a different OEM uh, head-up display prototype. Uh, but anyways, uh, if we could get a prototype of that, that would be a really cool, very exciting thing for Pico Pros. Uh, we really pride ourselves on being, if not the first, among the first to review all the new products and technologies in, in the Pico Projection space. And we have a long list of items that we were, at, in fact, the first to review on PicoPros.com. Anyways, we'll leave it there. Again, this is the update for the week of June 17th. Um, today is June 20th, Thursday, June 20th. And uh, if you want to learn more or follow us more closely, go to our website, PicoPros.com, uh, Facebook.com slash PicoPros, Twitter.com slash PicoPros, and YouTube.com slash PicoPros for all our review videos and articles. Uh, so you can email us through the uh, contact uh, page on PicoPros.com as well if you want to ask specific questions. Um, so we'll leave it there. This is the update for, again for June 17th, week of. And uh, stay tuned. Hopefully we'll be able to make this a regular thing. So let us know what you want us to talk about on PicoPros.com. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks.